And we bring Chua to these uh, trips only if we go by private plane because that's the only way we can fit him in, otherwise we'll leave him home. Yeah, and he sits on the toilet as a rule, Jim. He does. Uh, and that's fair enough. I've had the Nikons on him. What's he doing? We've sent him over to interview one of the up-and-coming, maybe one of the real candidates for the next senior coaching job. I've been watching him boring the bejesus out of him during the ad break, so I hope he's saving his very best stuff for his first question. Well, who's he interviewing, Gary, over there? Well, the assistant coach, one of the uh, assistant coaches at the Geelong Footy Club and a premiership star himself, Blake Carousella, who's a very wise and smart mm. football man who won't tolerate a poor first question from Chua. Chua, down to you. Yeah, thanks a lot, Gary. Uh, Blake, <laughs> massive game tonight. Both teams sitting just outside of the eight. Just before I noticed on the turf, you're having a quiet chat to uh, Corey Gregson and Reece Stanley. You must be pleased with the emerging talent that's starting to shine through this year. Yes, <laughs> yeah, we right. certainly are. Um, <laughs> Blake, would you expect a boundary rider to go with a young talent question first up, or would you thought that might have been sixth or seventh in line? Well, I'm not sure about the question, but he's got this um, jacket, this uh, kind of vest thing on at the moment. But um, <laughs> I'm not sure. The, obviously, the, the listeners can't see that. But I, I've, I've heard that you're wearing a nice top as well. Oh, oh if you word it up, Blake, too, sure, have you? I like it. Nice yeah. word. Hey, uh, hey, Blake, we'll let you get out of the music. It's pretty heavy. Good luck tonight. Yeah, have a good call, guys. Blake right, Carousel, Blake, the and down there. Was he a statement first question, I thought. Yeah, he went long. <laughs> he went, his, so he got, I liked it. I there, liked there were a couple and of statements made before a question came out. And he worded him up about the wolf. I like to go back to Chua <laughs> after oh, he, he asked the be, question. Yeah. And then I like to see, because I want him to give an analysis on his own performance right, well, before we critique him. He'll so be over there. I've got yep. the Nikons on him. I can see him in his muscle shirt. How do you think, <laughs> how do you, think you went? I reckon that was probably one of my better performances. Firstly, um, I didn't have to say his name, so I didn't uh, butcher that like I did with Scott Pendlebury a few years ago. Yes. But no, I think uh, he warmed to the question, I reckon, uh, Gary. Well, he did, but I mean, sort of, it was an out of the bluey. He no, didn't I try, it, Gary. He didn't set it up with anything, he just went whack. No, I'm saving my best uh, for the next interview. Uh, this could end well, my immediate career, and that's we'll Michael Will be the judge of that. See, yeah, I know you will. True, the other thing I'd say is you went with five and five each team. Yes. You know, so you sort of grabbed... Something that maybe Gaz or the Chief might have wanted to use yeah, in their own question very and true. statemented it before you then went that a totally different way true. with a Gregson question. True, true, true. true. I, was, I was panicking as you oh. said. <laughs> I had to come up with something, line and length. I'm still, still on my uh, hours with this uh, interviewing uh, gig, as you know. What, what about the timber in your voice? I mean, some of the pack think you've got to hold your pills when you're doing this. So that's certainly what Spud says to you when you're oh, doing this. You've got to have some real authority in it. Next time when you see Vossie, say, now, Michael, bang, away you go with a bit of authority. True, don't listen. I, I liked it. Oh, no, Damo, you're a good it. man. I appreciate that. Well, I'm going to prepare my line of questioning. Oh, I've got about 10 on the list for Michael Voss. So. There are a few more intimidating presences in yeah. the game of AFL football than Michael Voss, so you better be ready to go. go with a cardigan joke again, sure. There'll be a real problem. Oh, Thanks for the support, does. guys. All right. <laughs> Oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> right, we're to a break. Just oh. spoken to Blake Carousella, and now the great Michael Voss is getting ready to be interviewed on Triple M. Of course, a big part of the coaching panel here at yeah. Port Adelaide. We've sent Chua over there. I can see Chua. He's literally shaking. Voss, he's walked out. He's all business. He's not far away from the game starting, and he's, he's been confronted by this small wee man in a funny cut-off jacket. And he's not all that impressed, well, I don't Gary, think. You know, because Vossi's at the absolute sharpest end of right. what we're about in this caper. Three premierships as a captain. One of the greatest players the game's ever seen. Chua's going to hit him with some Dorothy Dixon first Well, therefore, up. Chua better get it right. Otherwise, uh, Vossi will give him some straight-ahead feedback. All right, <laughs> let's get down now to uh, Port Adelaide's, uh, as I say, fine assistant coach, Michael Voss. Chua, take it away. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks, JB. Got the great man here with me. Uh, Vossi, um, you've won your last two games by healthy margins. What's pleased you the most on field over the past couple, couple of weeks? Oh, no. I come... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I come... Yeah, and that's the question. Have you got another, another oh, question? No. Oh, no. Oh, I don't believe it. So, we'll see you at your hands. So the I've come here to last two games... And we're finished off the games. That's the question. Have you got a better one? Oh. Uh, well, <laughs> I've got a, a statistical one, but oh, that might bore no. the crap out of our listeners and uh, we might put them to sleep. Oh, oh, that's, no. that's actually my trade, so I'm just oh, a no. fill-in tonight, by the oh, way. Oh, he's been oh, jumping oh, the life, oh, But anyway, is there any positives you can take over <laughs> the past two weeks, uh, Vossie? Oh, that's a good question. I'll roll with that one. Um, <laughs> hey, Vossie, um, you sat back and you would have watched uh, Ollie Wines play footy with Port Adelaide and... 
his um, period out, out of the game with the thumb or the hand or the wrist or whichever it was coincided with the down period. He's come back in. He's had three good games, three very good games, and the, and the graph's going back up. No, uh, no coincidence? Oh, well, there'd be some coincidence because he balances it out. He's certainly a bit better quality than that green number you had on today. Uh, <laughs> yes. oh, there it is. Oh, oh, ultimate clip. Oh, listen to me, young man. Ultimate clip. Working to an answer. Oh, oh, going through the whole industry <laughs> this year. Sorry, I've got to stop that. Hey, great to speak to you. Good luck with everything tonight and the rest of the year. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Tossie. Well, that Michael Moss. And, uh, well, too, man. I've never seen a man no, go well, well, he should have been nervous then. No, <laughs> that's, just, uh, that's two guests that the Chua has wound up to give the wolf a clip. Uh, and they did too. <laughs> or maybe and, snorkel. And, 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 and they haven't held back. With, that, with all the greatest respect to Blake Carousella, because he deserves it, he's just been dealing with football royalty there in Michael Voss. Yeah. And yeah. he tried to lower his voice, and he couldn't maintain that. Sure. It went back up again mid question well, And we should say that we did, uh, Voss, he, he, he is respectful of everyone. He of set, he, we set him up for Chua to see how he handled the pressure. Did, Chua, uh, how'd you handle it? I thought we. I thought I handled it well, very no, well. You said that last time. No, I've just got to go to the toilet as soon as we. Uh, oh, did he give you a bit? Did uh, he give you the unload. stare? Uh, he did. I didn't know whether he was serious or not, Gary. I got admit I uh, was looking at question number five to try and uh, get my way through the interview. But no, no. Uh, how did I go anyway? What do you reckon? No, yeah, no good shot. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, Walker. Did um, Jim just call Blake Carousella a lightweight? No, I didn't. I said, but by way of comparison, comparison, he did. Yeah, you sort of did. Greatest respect. Light. That's what I said.